Hi guys and welcome back. This is going to be a quick review on Google Docs so you can get started on your writing projects today. Let's get started. So first thing you need to do is head over to your Google Drive or you can go directly to the Google Docs app. If you're on Google Drive, tap the little plus in the bottom right corner and then tap Google Docs. Give your document a new name. Uh, it could be anything, the name of your project or the name of your piece. I'm just going to call this one my writing project. And once you're happy with that, tap create. And now we're in our Google Docs. Here we can start typing. We can type our title. We can type our text. Uh, and this is where all our writing is going to happen. If I want to format my text, change the size of the font or change the font itself, I just need to tap on my text and then highlight it all with my finger. Once I'm happy with that, I can use the center align options at the top, so I'm going to go in the middle. And in the top right corner, I've got the A, which will give me all the formatting options where I can change the size of it. Let's go for 16. And I can change the font. So I can scroll down and have a look. Um, I'm going to choose Times New Roman. And then I should also have the option at the top to make it bold or underline my title. And then I can tap anywhere off here to close that box. Just going along the top real quick. This is my undo button, my redo button. Here I can add in an image or a table, things like that. Uh, we've already talked about the option here to format all your text, change the font and the size. The three dots over here will give me more options, so like the print layout and sharing options. When I'm ready, I can share it with my teacher. And then we've got the bold, italics, underline, strike through, font color, highlight color, left align, center align, right align, bullet points, uh, number points, uh, and indent left and right. I can also use the keyboard as a mouse. If I use two fingers and just hold it down on the keyboard, all the keys go grayed out and then I can start moving my cursor around, any around anywhere around the document which is really handy if I want to move my cursor in front of a line of text like this and if I want to put something else in front of that. If I've accidentally made a mistake and I've deleted something when I try to go back I can use the undo and redo options at the top, those two little arrows. So one will go back to the previous and one will make it go forward. So don't worry if you accidentally delete things. I can just play around with these options and they can come back. If you want to add an image to your text or your writing project, just click on the plus at the top of your screen, then on image, and then image from photos. The first time you do this, you'll have to give Google Docs permission to view your photos and then click OK and you should be good to go. As good practice, we recommend you get your photos from Pixabay or Unsplash uh, rather than Google Images as there is no licensing or uh, copyright issues from uh, these two platforms. So if you go to Pixabay or download the app, type in the image that you want to say, let's say Gateway of India. I click on the image and I should have a download option and I can download a medium size resolution file. That should get saved to my photos if I click on the middle one here and then click on Save Image. That will get added to my photo library. Then I can head on over back to Google Docs and I'm going to press that plus button, image, image from photos and give permission if I have to, okay. And I will scroll down and find the image that I want to use for my writing project. And it will just get dumped into my file like that in between text or in between the title. I'm going to click on my image and at the top I'll have this option to wrap my image, so wrap around the text. It's the second one from the right. It's got a little square and some lines. So if I tap on that image there, I will have the option to have it inline, or I'm going to choose the second option, wrap text. So the text should now be wrapping around the image. It might not look like that right now. I'm just going to reduce the margin size down to zero, and I'm going to make sure it moves with the text. Once I'm happy with those settings, I can just grab the corner of my image and pull it to the side. Now that I've got a smaller image, I can move it around a bit more easily and I can see how the text is wrapping around it. I've got some at the top and then some on the side. I can have that at the top left, top uh, bottom left, in the middle maybe. Um, I can even have that to the side there. I think it looks better there. You can again pull the corners if you want to and make it a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. 
Um, I'm not going to have it too big because I don't want it covering up so much of the text. I'm going to have it that size. Perfect. Just a couple more things to note. Under the three dots where we have our more options, I can slide on this print layout option and that will make my docs look like a piece of paper. So if I zoom out, I should be able to see the borders and the edges and if I scroll down, I should see the end of page one. And as your documents get bigger, that would be really handy. The last thing I want to show you is how to share and export with your teacher. Again, just tap on the three dots at the top and at the bottom, towards the bottom, you have share and export. If you tap on that, you'll be able to share at the top or copy a link to your teacher. Uh, choose the top one and share with your teacher there and they'll have access to uh, view your document. Once you're happy with that, you can tap out and press the tick at the end at the top left corner uh, and to know your work's done and then back and you'll be back to your Google Drive. That's it from us guys. Good luck with your writing projects and let us know or let your teachers know if you have any questions. Cheers.